Now, my can ask a question. Okay, question. So you're working with him? Yeah. Okay, cool. Next question. Yes. Hey, um, you're, you're, you're second. You're first. Yes. I was going to ask you um, about the, um, the toxic waste uh, trash the size of California heading for the West Coast. What yeah. You, I want to ask your opinion about that. You mean in the ocean in from the, ocean. the tsunami? Yeah. I want to ask, uh, I'm trying to get this, this information out, and I want, I want to, I'm trying to, as hard as I can, a lot of people just don't want to hear it, but... Um, People surfing, swimming in the ocean out here in Santa Monica and all over the place. Are they more, are they getting more radiation? I mean, is that track? I mean, just tell me about that. I don't know how much radiation will be collected on the trash, as you call it. I don't call it. I call it rubbish, I suppose. <laughs> That's an American word, trash. Yeah. Um, there's a hell of a lot coming towards you. Huge, huge amounts. Because you saw the tsunami come in and take it out. And of course, some radioactive fallout will have fallen on that, but I'm much, much more worried about the radiation in the ocean. Woods Hole has said it, it's far more than Chernobyl ever was. They've never seen or contemplated anything like this, and it will be reaching you quite soon, I think, in the ocean currents and the fish. And the fish swim thousands of miles. The EPA is not testing your fish caught on the west coast, it should be testing your fish routinely. I would be very cautious about, I don't know how, how long it takes a fish to get here, but um, it's now a year and the fish will be radioactive and I don't think I'd be surfing. Be vegetarian. <laughs> well, well the yeah. soil is now there was, yeah. Can you give me an update on Diablo? Diablo, yeah, well, you know, that's sitting on an earthquake. <laughs> what else can I say? I mean, it's pathetic. Diablo and San Onofre both have built on earthquakes. Haven't you seen enough of an earthquake to see what it does? You also are in a tsunami area. What update do you need except to close it down? <laughs> Help us. No, I won't well, help you. We have you. to do it. Look, I, I live in Australia. I'm only one person. I mean, I'd march in there and take over the control room and shut the thing down <laughs> if I could. And that's what you should be doing. Have courage. Right. But how do you, on, on April 28th, there is going to be, in honor of the anniversary of Chernobyl, there is going to be a demonstration at San Onofre on the south side of San Onofre. You get to drive past not only the power plant itself, but also all the police and all the helicopters and all the rest that's going to be there. But it will start at 12.30 and go till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You are all invited to take your rage and your outrage and come and demonstrate there and bring whoever you can. Last time we had for uh, Fukushima, we had 200 people. We would like to swell that number up. If you can possibly show up, please do. Information on sananofresafety.org. I'm not sure the demonstrations will do the trick these days. Yes. I think you need to occupy the thing. Now, you won't be able to because that's dangerous and you could cause a meltdown and it's easy to melt a nuclear power plant down. I could do it within a day. But you've got to think of more creative things and I think you need to think of Greenpeace. They're clever. They always get in the media and then they say, why are you climbing this tower? Why are you inside this reactor? And then they can tell you. You've got to think of ways to attract the media. They're bored with demons. I mean, I'm not putting you down, <coughs> per se, but I'm thinking as a physician, what works? You see? And you have to work, treat the patient with what will cure the patient. Yeah. So you have to think, what is going to turn this state around? And Jerry Brown isn't a bad man. I've known Jerry for many years. Get on to Jerry Brown yeah. and educate yeah. him. Right. You know, nail one of his feet to the floor and, you know, yeah. yeah. Once you shut it down, what is the best regimen for what you do with it after it's shut Very down? good question. You have to let it cool down radiologically for about 50 years. Oh yes. The other thing I need to say is that there's a hell of a lot of spent fuel, yes. very radioactive fuel, yes. at both those reactors at San Onofre and also Diablo Canyon. There's more cesium in the cooling pool at Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant in Massachusetts than there is in all the fallout from all the nuclear tests that have ever occurred in the history of the nuclear age in one cooling pool. Those cooling pools have to be cooled continuously, and if they're not, they too will melt down, like they worried about Unit 4 at Fukushima. So that's radioactive waste. Your government doesn't, you, 
The nuclear industry is a social, it's a communist industry. Right. You pay for it. And then the utilities get the reactor when it's built and they earn a million dollars a day selling you electricity. Right. But you pay for the insurance, right. your house isn't insured, you are not insured against nuclear accident, you built the thing, you mine the uranium, you enrich the uranium, you will pay for the decommissioning, but you'll be dead and so will I. Then when it's cooled down, you have to cut it apart by remote control using robots, and then you have to bury it somewhere because it's radioactive waste. So they might take the Hanford or Savannah River, which is like descending into Hades. They're so incredibly radioactive. And then you've got the radioactive waste. There's nowhere to put it, although we have passed a law in Australia that we're going to bury radioactive waste on tribal Aboriginal land <laughs> against the Aborigines' wishes. And Halliburton built the railway line going from the port of Darwin down to the road, and that's Cheney. And we may become the radioactive waste dump of the world. You've got about 70,000 tonnes of radioactive waste with nowhere to put it. And it's dangerous because if you lose the cooling water, the pools could melt down, not just the reactor, at Diablo Canyon, at, you know, San Onofre. And what, and what I want to say is that the waste will leak into your food supplies for the rest of time. And I predict over generations, people waking up in the morning, the food already radioactive, the breast milk radioactive. The baby's been born deformed and there are homes in, in Chernobyl now with pictures here of children so grossly deformed we've never seen anything like it in paediatrics. Nancy, I'm going to show it to you because she's a paediatric neurologist and I want you to pass these pictures around so everyone can see what nuclear power really means. Cancer at 6 instead of 60. That's what nuclear power means. And the accidents never end, never end. And anyway, Na Nancy, pass that round and everyone's to look and give me back the book. Yeah. Uh, you and then you.